Do you like zombies? I know you do. It's time to hit zero, Jack. Let's go. All right. So this game will be propelled upon three different uh, decks um, that are labeled a one, two, and three. So you know which section you'll go through. Um, three courses will be laid out that you will try to make your survivors go through these locations. And they will have different things that can happen. Uh, they will have a scavenge phase, which will collect items. They will have an event phase, which um, will trigger something. Uh, and if there's nothing listed, it won't happen. Uh, it's worth victory points. Uh, some of them are at the top. And in the bottom right will be fighting, if you have to fight zombies or whatnot. So anyway, <clears throat> I've chosen uh, the yellow meeple to be my representative. And these are my four survivors. So I'll just bring these guys over here. Of course, we got the zombie dice. We actually have the zombie meeples themselves, which are pretty cool if you've never seen them before. Um, and then we have all the other resources. The three resources in the game are bullets. So every bottle cap that you use uh, will be two bullets you can fire. Um, gasoline, which is uh, represented by the red ones. And if you use these, you will be able to uh, drive away from a situation that's um, right before the fight. Uh, excuse me, right before melee. And then you have uh, adrenaline, which is used to make opportunity kills and to um, save your people if they would die, um, if you get lucky enough to survive. All right, so uh, to set it up, you basically shuffle the cards. And this is uh, the solo variant, so I'll be playing by myself. And so let's get started. After the cards are shuffled, you make uh, three rows here. The first row will be uh, face down. The second row, the first card will be face up. And the second one will be face down, and the third row will have both face up cards. And then my character has to travel down one of these three paths. And usually the first stage is more like a building stage. When you play this in a multiplayer game, you have this uh, bidding mechanism where you place the color like a peg of your uh, that matches your meeple on here, and you actually bid resources to see who becomes the first player situation so and this is all revealed of course in the full game all the uh, cards are face up but when you're playing solo um, they just leave some blind stuff if I choose the first path to go down it will um, I will just pick two resources of my choice to add to my starting resources um, if I go down the middle one which is half revealed then I will play it as normal with uh, just collecting and going if I, have, if I choose to go down this third row, which is totally revealed, I will have to pay two resources before I choose to go down that path because I see everything that's going on. And uh, the object is to, of course, survive at the end of the game, and they have a little point chart to see how well you did if you survived uh, what's going on. I forgot to mention that you remove four cards from each of the decks, but what I do in this situation is I just don't use the last four when I get to them uh, each time. So anyway, <clears throat> here's my choices. Uh, blind, I can collect two adrenaline, but I also would collect the CDC token, which is this guy over here, which these tokens can add up to bad things or good things, depending on the situation um, as they go. But let's just go ahead and play this adventure. This here says uh, I would collect a bullet, and then I would also collect, um, looks like the, the bandage token, but I'd have to fight five zombies. But in the second half, I just get three resources here, two bullets, and, and that's worth a victory point. So... This is kind of tempting. This is pretty good, except for you take a risk with that CDC. Stuff can come up later that's bad. But I think I'm just going to take a blind shot, which is the most advantageous. I'm going to send me and my fearless team of survivors down the first row here. So I'll gain two resources of my choice. I'm going to choose a uh, choose adrenaline because that helps keep people alive. And in case scenarios, you can do opportunity kills. Okay, so we'll flip these over to see what's going on. Oh, okay. It looks like I got some dude here that um, I'm going to collect three bullets from the supply. Well, three bullet tokens. And then um, I'm going to fight some zombies. So I'll remove three meeples out here to fight some zombies. They're going to meet me on the path of resistance. And you grab a dice, a brown die for each survivor that you have and you're considered the lead survivor so that's five dice so basically I'm not gonna I'm gonna skip past the ranged part where I can use bottle caps every bottle cap I spend would give me two two dice to shoot them before they get here and I'm just gonna go right into a melee action 
So I'm looking for little target kills. And I'll just kind of let you know how the dice results work here. Okay. Well, I've got one, two, three kills. So that's going to be great. Uh, opportunity kill, which doesn't mean anything, which is a uh, uh, lightning bolt symbol. But on this one here, I have a casualty symbol, which means I will lose one survivor unless I spin an adrenaline. And I will spin an adrenaline to keep him alive. So since I successfully navigated that card, I will collect this and add it to my pile. It's also worth a victory point. Not all cards exposed are. It just happened this time that they are. All right, now we'll travel to the second one. I will collect a bottle cap of bullets and a bottle cap of adrenaline. Probably should move these down a little bit more. That way it makes it a little easier for you guys to see. Sorry about that. I'm getting a little out of range focused here for you. Here we go. And I collected my, I scavenged. So now I'm going to, well, I mean, that's not too bad. It's just four zombies. So I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to try to save my supplies in the beginning and hopefully nothing goes wrong. And I will attempt to face these four zombies coming at me. And uh, looks like kind of an interesting oh, like a parking lot or something there. All right. So I'll roll five dice. Hope for the best. Okay. I end up with three opportunity kills, which means I can spend a drill and do that, and two straight-up kills. So I'll remove the two straight-up kills. Now, if I want to, I can spend two of these adrenaline symbols to finish those guys off but you know what I'm just gonna hope that I roll well and no casualty symbols because there's only one casualty symbol on each die so we'll go to the second round of melee once you once you pass the opportunity for your ranged uh, with the bullets before you get to melee you're stuck in melee the rest the rest of the time Ooh, okay Ooh. well <clears throat> I got two kills that'll finish them off but in this exchange melee exchange I will suffer two casualties uh, lose two survivors unless I spend two adrenaline, and I will. So let's keep those guys alive. So there we go. That was the first little path. I will collect that card. And my great band of survivors, oh, this goes to the discard pile, and we'll lay out a, a new path. It'll be the one up, one down, and both of these are up. Ooh, I like this one here. That one has um, four bullets on it. This is this is nothing but a win-win down here. But if I choose the last row in this, I will have to. Um, and there was only four cards left, so you you remove four cards randomly. So I'm just going to put those in the discard pile up here. Okay, so I could come through here. What does this say? It says uh, discard one of your resources and that's not worth it when I can gain all these resources what a great clear path just to pay two on okay so my survivors will take the safe path this is fantastic and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna pay since I chose this one that's revealed I'm gonna pay two bullets because right off the bat I'm gonna recover those two bullets and right here there's a bonus on this card that says also gain one survivor so that means you get to take one and add it to your thing. So now I have me and five survivors. So if I have a combat, I will roll six dice, which also is not always the best because you can make you roll more casualties as well. But it's it's I think it's a better trade off because some bad things can just happen. Oh, I actually collect that card. And in here, I will come across uh, I guess this locker room here, which is awesome, and uh, of weapons, and collect four resources. And I'll put all these guys built up here. Let's see what I'm doing here. I look like an extra adrenaline. I wonder if I grabbed the wrong token. If not, that one resource hopefully won't make a big difference. And I will collect that, which is also a victory point in the top right up there. So that's good. So that was a very easy path, luckily. And that's just stage one. I know that doesn't seem like very interesting because I chose that. But this is a solo variant. So you do a lot of just assessing to yourself and um, playing it that way. So now we'll shuffle these guys, and I'll go ahead and remove the four this time right off the bat into the discard pile. So, so these things start getting, oh, well, I accidentally revealed it, so I'll put this on the bottom then. We'll just work it backwards this time. So, uh, and then these two are blind. Okay, so what is what happens here? It says if I go here, I'll collect the drilling. Roll one die for each one of your survivors. For each casualty, you lose a survivor. I don't like that path at all. But right here, I do gain an extra survivor right here. 
So that's tempting. This one here automatically loses a survivor with a gasoline, and then I don't know what's going on there. I think it might go down the blind track again because this might balance out, but now I'm going to be rolling a lot of dice, and so that could be a lot of survivor losses. So I'm going to pay. No, actually, I'll gain. That's right. If you take the blind path, you gain two. So I'm going to gain, um, I'm going to gain an adrenaline and a bullet, although I probably should be getting some gas, but I just feel like I need to load up on bullets in case I face some nasties later. All right, let's see what I'm uh, going up against here. Let's see what's in this situation up here. Okay, I collect two more bullets. I might deplete the whole world of bullets. All right, then I have uh, I have to deal with four zombies, as it says right here. It looks like one of the zombies. I don't know. Oh no! Uh, looks like the preacher with the shotgun there saying, "Amen." He's gonna shoot himself some zombies right there. So in the churchyard, I guess I'm gonna to try to help out. And um, you know what? I'm gonna use some bullets. So I'm gonna to go to ranged before you go to melee. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, take down some of these zombies. So four of them are coming. Well, I guess I'm approaching them in the range. And so I'll spend two caps, which is equal to four bullets. So you will roll four dice and you can ignore the casualty symbols on this. And only thing that counts is targets. So every target symbol I roll will be a hit and I rolled two so before we get to melee I will pop two of them now this juncture I still would have an opportunity to drive away I could spend two gas and drive away but there's no real use for that I'm kind of low on gas anyway it's not like I've been to Taco Bell or anything today all right so we're going to melee I have now one two three four five six survivors and so now I roll six dice and let's see what oh my goodness I've never rolled six dice and have six hits before but all i needed was two but there's that was just a fantastic roll oh wait a second no i didn't this was a, a casualty doggone it one of those guys started to drag one of my survivors down hmm do i do i save my survivor <laughs> because i don't know that's kind of okay i will i'm going to spend one i know it sounds like i'm a bad guy by letting him uh, go by the wayside but sometimes sacrifices have to be made you know that's just how it works around here Trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. So um, that card's completed. So it will come to my pile on my side. And now we will take on, what is this situation? I probably should have read this better. Um, no, that's right. That's right. It was blind. So it says, for each uh, casualty symbol you get on the ranged, add one zombie. Oh, so if I decide to use bullets, I'm attracting more zombies by firing them. So I may just go right into melee with these guys. The first thing I do is scavenge. So I'll collect two gas. Which I guess I could it says any time before melee I can spend two gas to drive away. But this is also worth two victory points. And even though I'm playing solo to stay alive, I want to get as good score as I can. So I'm gonna to try to take these guys down. So I will you know what? I'm I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna spend I'm gonna take a chance of, of attracting more zombies, but I'm gonna roll uh, four dice with two bottle caps there. And try to pop a few of these guys. So I got five zombies I'm coming up on. Or maybe they're coming up on me. And let's see if we can eliminate some without attracting more. Woo! Wow, that was a great roll. That's exciting. So I popped four of these guys. And I didn't attract any more zombies before I move into melee. Alright, so now we're moving into melee. Hopefully this is not a psycho zombie where I roll all casualties. And I have to try to start saving my guys. <laughs> you never know, right? This could be the, the meeple that... It's elusive. All right, so I roll six dice. And oh, look at this, two blanks, two hits. So I definitely will kill him, but in the process, he goes crazy and tries to kill two of my people. Um, I know this sounds bad, but I'm gonna drop a survivor off at this point, and I will spin an adrenaline to save the other one. So I will collect that card. So we survived the first phase in round two here. And there's actually will be three in these last two uh, rounds a piece here. Of traveling through the the beautiful area of whatever the countryside is on Hit Z Road. All right, so we got two blind, one up, one down, and two face up. All right, let's see what we got to work with here. Let me check my camera. Sorry, folks. I probably could have better camera work here. Okay, let's see. I can collect a gas. I have to face five, but it's worth a victory point. What's going on? That's a baseball field. I do like playing baseball with zombies, especially if I have a bat. This one here, what does it say with the gas can? Look, there's a dead cow in the road here. 
Let me read this real quick. It says, uh, spend one gas or lose one survivor. Um, it says, no swimming today. That's hilarious. Okay, and what does this say? I fight four if I face them two. And um, it's got a nice little artwork there. It's like they're connected. It's like, look, this river's connected here into this. It's like it was all, it was all meant to be. All meant to be. Um, I don't know about that. My luck isn't too good. Uh, one gas versus five. I think I'm going to, you know, I think I, I kind of want to go blind, but I, I kind of want to also face, I kind of want to get victory points. And I, I don't know, I've always been drawn to baseball. So I'm going to, I'm going to go down the path here, which means I do not gain anything and I don't have to pay anything, but we'll flip it up and see what else I'm facing over here. And, oh, what does this say? Oh, it's the bus. It says, as long as you have the bus token, the, that's the little steering wheel symbol right there on the card. If you have that little steering wheel symbol, I can treat hordes as regular zombies. Hordes are the are like the zombie symbol like you see here in green, in the green circle, except um, it'll be in red and it'll have dots above it. And for every dot or skull above it, it means you have to roll one of these red dice in place of one of priority over one of the brown dice. And this has two casualty symbols on it. And one of the casualty symbols doesn't have an ability to save. You see, this one here has a little lightning bolt, which means, hey, I can spin an adrenaline to save it. But if you roll this, every time you face a horde, you're rolling these dice. And if you roll that one, you just lose a survivor. There's no no uh, good thing in it. But this card, if somehow I ended up with the bus token, but I can't remember if the bus, if the bus token maybe it got randomly eliminated or maybe I haven't faced it yet. Ooh, that's tempting, though. I do get a free adrenaline. But okay, <clears throat> that's the path I'm heading down. I chose it already. So um, I'll give myself a gas. Um, I don't think I've done that yet. If I did, then I guess I'm cheating. Don't tell me because I don't know. All right, so I have to face, there's no text, no event, but I have to face five zombies on the baseball field. And um, you know what? I think I'm going to try to spend, uh, I'm going to spend uh, two tokens to shoot four Shoot four bullets here. So come on. Ooh, okay. Well, luckily, and you don't have to, casualties are ignored. Only thing in, in ranged is the tr uh, the bullet, the target symbols. So I did roll one target. So I will kill one zombie before I have to face them. And I'm going to face them, even though I'm getting a little low on adrenaline. No, not too bad. But I could drive away, but nah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take these guys out. So currently I have five survivors which means including myself. Come on. Ooh, that was not so good. Okay, I got two, two uh, bullseyes and one casualty. So I'm going to spend the one to save my, save my one survivor that's being attacked. And I've got two kills, but also I have an adrenaline symbol here and an adrenaline symbol there. I'm going to spend that two adrenaline and go ahead and take those kills of opportunity and just kill off these other two guys so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Just because I feel like what I'm really good at is getting bad rolls. And um, I know they're coming because usually I don't roll very well uh, when I play Hit Z Road. So I move into here. I collect an adrenaline for my scavenge phase. And then this just lets me know that if I do get that steering wheel token, I now can treat hordes as regular zombies. So that's nice. What was under here? Anything good? Didn't look like I think I chose one of the better paths, so that's good. So now we move on to we're still in phase uh, two, but we have this is the last phase in phase two. Oh, look, there's a horde. Oh, I like that bottom row because there's four gasoline there. Okay, I make sure I'm keeping this somewhat on the camera. Sorry, guys, I'm not really used to filming from this angle here. Let me take a look at this. Okay, so if I come here, I'll get an adrenaline, but I have to face six zombies, which is also, but one of them has to be a horde die. But I could try to shoot him. I could drive away. It's worth two victory points. But look at all the gas you get over here. And this is only five, right? That's like seven resources. But I have to pay two resources to go there. So technically, I guess I'd be gaining five. Boy, and that's worth one. I get two victory points. Or I could go blind and gain... Two. I'm getting low. I only got two adrenaline. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to, because let me tell you, folks, round three can be brutal if the paths are not, if you're forced to go down one of those nasty paths, it can be really bad. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to collect three bullets. 
there's no event happening here, although there's something happening here. It looks like at the, what does it say? It says, uh, where are the people you, uh, where are the police when you need them? <laughs> the police has been converted to zombies. Um, I'm actually going to spend two gas and drive away because I do not get to collect this card now because I drove away, but I just didn't want to, I didn't want to deal with that. It seemed a little bit too much. And then we will come up here and collect four gas. Finally, a nice gentle card I could see. So now if I need to do more driving away later, I can. But some things will not let you flee, and I will get to collect this card. All right, now we're moving to the nasty phase. I was tempted to fight that horde. What was on the other side of it? Oh, another big fight. Oh, boy, four victory points. So if I would have did it, if I would have did this. But let me tell you something. I have died more than I have even just lived in this game. I've won this game a couple of times, but playing with friends. But I've only played this once solo, and I did okay. Um, but if I know my luck, if it still holds up, I'm going to shuffle these cards up here real quick. And then we're going to remove four randomly. Look at, look at how this is done. It's like that, you know, the kid had designed it, you know, uh, the thematic is just beautiful because all the cards are dirty. So you don't feel like you really have to cover your cards in this game because all the cards are going to be dirty anyway. All right. So those are four removed. So now we will... Make the rows. And I will try to straighten them out a little nicer here. Okay. What are my choices? I'm just trying to make it to the end. Of the day. See right here, this is something that could be bad. It says for each CDC token, which I had the opportunity to go down that one road, it says you would lose one survivor. It just happens. So luckily, I don't have any CDC tokens. And when we play a multiplayer game, the bidding can be really crazy because someone has like a CDC token and they're like, oh, I don't want to go there. So they're trying to bid to make sure that they don't have to go down that path. This one here says, um, if you have the person token, spend three bullets, then discard the person token. <laughs> Look, there's a picture. Like, I guess he's running away from you. So you're, maybe you're trying to shoot him before he gets away with your stuff. That's funny. But I don't have the person token, so that one's not going to work against me. And this one, you have to face a horde. This is worth two victory points, but you do collect an adrenaline. And you have to face a horde with two horde dice. So it says for each casualty you roll. Okay, this is the one where you're going to attract um, for every, if you decide to use bullets to thin the herd before you get there, you could attract more zombies, which is dangerous. But I have to go two down that road, so I don't think that. So I'm thinking either one of these two. I really want to collect some more adrenaline. And that's only one adrenaline there. So I'm actually going to go blind and hope that it's not horrible. But level three can be very brutal just to survive to the end. So I got this and two more waves. And then we, um, if I survive, and then we'll add up the, the score to see how I did. Okay, so I'm going to go down this path. So I'm going to collect two resources, which are two adrenaline. And then let's see what, um, what fate has brought me. Oh, a zombie horde. Hey, but I do get an adrenaline, it looks like. Okay, so I got a... I collected an adrenaline for my scavenge phase. And it looks like it's an airport. Things are blowing up over here. Airplane. So um, there's I get to face six zombies. Not sick, six zombies. One's tired. He's on his he's on his side taking a nap. And then two of the dice I used. You know what? I might have to try to I could drive away, but how many victory points? That's two victory points. I want to try to get victory points. This is near the end here, so I need to try to get my score up. If I live, I'm going to use some bullets. I'm actually going to use three caps, which means six bullets. So I'll roll six dice. And then if we go to melee, I have to put in the horde dice, two of them. Have to be that. Okay, so come on, bullets, do something. Okay, and I ignore all other symbols except for bullets. And I got four hits. Those are all headshots. By the way, my sound effects I just made were zombie headshots. So this is a lot better. But now, here comes the scary part. So I have to, I have five survivors, so I'll roll five dice, but two of them have to be the horde dice. Okay, come on, melee. Use airplane parts to beat these guys down. Ooh, rough. Okay, during this battle, I will kill two of my two targets dice, but I got three casualty, and I got one permanent, ca you know, no, I can't save him. There's no adrenaline symbol, so I will lose a survivor. Um, but now... Uh, I do have a little bit of adrenaline, so I'll spend the two adrenaline to keep that alive. So now I'm down to me and three, the lead survivor and three survivors. That's four survivors. So when I have melee attacks now, I can only roll 
four dice. But I do col collect this card for two points, which is nice. And then uh, we're going to say Joey is the guy that got killed. And in fact, I'm just going to name each one of my players here from uh, one of the member of the old Fred, a Friends sitcom. So Joey, um, sorry. Uh, I hope that you know you have a happy life after Friends. You got some new sitcom out, so you'll be happy with that. All right. Um, we still got Chandler in the group. And uh, I don't know who I am. I'm the, I'm the leader, so I'm sure I'm just like a, a character that showed up randomly. Okay, so uh, we're going to the beach out here. I'm going to collect a gasoline and an adrenaline. So I'll add that to my pile. Doing good on my resources this game. And it's worth my victory point. And I will take, what does this say? Hold on. I love reading the flare here. It says, uh, oh, itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. That's pretty funny. The zombie's coming at you in full force there. So I got three of them, which is half force, I guess. So I will, you know what? I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident. So I'm just going to roll my four dice because I have four survivors. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got two shots, which is will kill two of these zombies. But I do have an opportunity um, to make an adrenaline kill, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna go ahead and spend it to kill this guy off. Because when you're in stage three, if you start having some bad dice rolls, you don't, you really don't want to mess around with that. So now I'll collect that, which it also has a little victory point on that one. Sorry about the glare there. Okay, so that one. And I wonder what this was. Uh, two bullets, not bad, but I'd have to face three zombies. Well, luckily, I hadn't had to face the horde too much. Which is good. So this is, uh, of course, we're in uh, the third round cards, but this is the second of the third round. So I have to survive this and one more set. Okay, what do we got here? It says, I think this says uh, bullets. It says you can't spend any, ooh, adrenaline during this fight. So if I choose to go to this fight, I can't spend any adrenaline to keep my guys alive which is uh, not really that cool. And this one is spend one gas or lose one survivor. Well, I got the gas, so I could do that. But that's not worth any victory points. Neither is this, but it gives me an adrenaline. And then I got to spend two gas or lose a sur survivor. Boy, that's funny. That's on the same row. It just came that way. So basically, I'm going to have to spend three of my gas just to get through it, which is probably the smartest play to get through. But you know what? I'm feeling adventurous and... Me and my three friends, Chandler, Phoebe, and uh, Rachel Green. Sorry, Ross. I guess Ross, well, Ross is supposed to be the leader. I guess he's the yellow guy here. Okay. We're going to see what we got to face. Oh, I get to gain two resources, so I'm going to choose Adrenaline always because that's my lowest, and it keeps people alive, unless it tells me I can't. Oh, double hordes. Oh, gosh. Let me slide this down so you guys can see this. I'm going to be facing a horde here and a horde here unless I use my gas to drive away. But if I drive away, I might have to do it versus that one because um, I'm not getting any resources and I'm not getting any points for it. So that's probably the smartest thing to do. It says And it says I can't flee from this fight, so I have to fight this one, but it's worth a victory. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, well, I'm here. <laughs> I don't collect any resources, but I got six zombies coming at me. Two, three, four, five, six. And where's this location at? There's a refrigerator. I'm probably hungry. Looks like it's on somebody's house. So bullets. Yeah, I'm going to spend. I'm going to try to thin the herd here a little bit. I'm going to spend. You know what? I'm I only got one round left to do something. So I'm going to I'm going to spend three tokens, which will give me six bullets. I'm going to try to get some hits. Now, remember, casualties don't count and ranged attack here, so, and I, oh, one, two, three, four, and luckily those don't count against me, so, just like in this picture here, I'm just like taking him out with my gun, so, um, or does he have a slingshot, I can't tell from this angle, so, um, oh, that was a great use of the bullets that time, now I have to go to melee, but I have to replace, what do I got, four survivors, so half my dice have to, yeah, two. Yeah, so I got to use two red dice in this horde. So let's hope for no instant casualties here. Ooh, great roll. I just went crazy. Just anger uh, avenging Joey in that one. 
So you die, you evil zombies. I never liked you anyway. So I collect that card, and I can tell you what's going to happen here. I'm brave getting points, but this isn't worth the struggle, so I'm just going to spend two of the plenty of gas I have to um, drive away. Now, I don't get to collect this card, but who really cares? I, it's not worth any points. All right, one last stage. I think it's easier to survive when you play solo. But I guess just trying is if you're trying to get a really good score because it has like a little ranking. They have a name system for your guys at the end there. Oh, and these are both up here. Oh, goodness. What are, what's going on here? Okay, there's a victory point on this one here. If I face this one, it says, as it says, if you have the person token, which I don't, all zombies from this card are killed, then discard the zombie. Oh, well, I don't have that, so I'd have to face that if I went there for that victory point. And this one here, it says, for each CDC symbol, I lose a survivor. I don't have any, but I still have to face five zombies on the end if I do that. Sorry, you guys can't see from that angle. Let me just show you now. Got a little wonky camera angle. Okay. Let's see. You can't flee from this fight. Wow. And that's not worth any victory. If I go down this path, I can't have to pay to, to go down this road. But I could flee from them and get a victory point. And adrenaline in five. So this may be worth spinning two because this is the last one. But I feel like I just want to go big or go home here. I'm hoping there's a two-pointer up in this upper row. So... I'm going to do it because it gives me two things. So I, I, unless I just roll really bad with a couple of hordes, there may not be anything in there. I'm going to go down this first path up here and let's see what's up here. So I collected uh, two resources. Okay, what does this say? Uh, worth a victory point. Oh, it's got a scary clown. You can't spend any adrenaline during this fight. Oh, that's not good. If I roll a casualty, it I can't save them. That's not good. And this one gives me two adrenaline, which I don't need now because it's the end of the game. Gosh, I maybe should have went down this one. Let's see what was on the other side here. I uh, just wanted to, ooh, that's kind of a scary lady right there. But anyway, I'm not going down those paths. My last path will be here. And I come up to here, and I will spend, you know what? I'm not going to spend any, <clears throat> I'm not going to spend any adrenaline. I mean, uh, any any gas. And I'm going to spend, I would actually get the, the solo, the solo scoring variant shows if you have for every survivor, gas, bullet, and adrenaline token you have, you'll gain a victory point in the game. So like if I drove away from this, I would definitely get four victory points, you know, but I wouldn't get this one. But if I'm feeling cocky, going into a dangerous zone, and I can't re-roll it. You know what? I, I just feel like fighting some more zombies. So I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take these guys on, and here we go. All right. I'm, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to, I'm going to spin one. I'm going to shoot two bullets at these guys. So I got four zombies trying to get me. These are the last ones, so they'll probably try to surround me because the last things to eat before I leave the city. And then, so I'm going to, I spent the two, so I get four bullets. No hits, and luckily that's not the melee yet, so that doesn't count. Now we go to melee, so I've got four survivors. I'll roll four dice. Come on, I need some targets, some bullseyes. Ooh, I killed two. Bang, bang. But unfortunately, Chandler got eight during this because um, normally I could spend adrenaline, but it says I can't this time. All right, if I roll three casualty symbols, all my guys will die, but I just need two targets Two bullseyes. Woo! Okay, so I end up losing a uh, survivor, and I make the final kills on those two guys, and I will collect this card, and then I'll just travel peacefully out of the city collecting two more adrenaline, and then we'll just look at my score real quick. I've got two survivors and at least two of those and at least two of those and two of those. So that's two victory points. And then I've got, there's no one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let me look at the book real quick. On the very back, 
of the rule book, there's a little uh, chart that tells you how, how you did. Okay, so in my score zone here, where's that? Oh, here it is. So in the score zone right here, it looks like zero to five is Father Gabriel, six to 10 is cool. Uh, is that 11 to 15? No, is it? Oh, yeah. 11 to 15 is good. So I think that's what I had, right? 15? So I did good. So I didn't do very good or um, call me Daryl or lucky or, gen lucky or genius at the end. But I think I did that. Well, let me, let me recap the one time. Just make sure. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One away from moving up a step. But I did a really good survival. All right. That's the solo variant. Hope you enjoyed.